All right, we want to update you now on a News Nation exclusive, a story that we have been following on allegations of the U.S. government covering up a so called secret UFO retrieval program alleged during an exclusive interview with a Pentagon whistleblower, David Grush. Joe Khalil is with us now from the Smoky Nation's capital. Uh, Joe, the Pentagon is denying this, but what are you hearing from lawmakers about these allegations on Capitol Hill? Yeah, Marty, it's really interesting because the reaction that I'm hearing from lawmakers on Capitol Hill over the last two, three days to this story largely reflects what we're hearing nationwide. There are a lot of people here in the Senate and the House, don't, doesn't matter which party, who are genuinely curious and want to learn more. A lot of people have even said that they're fascinated by what they're hearing from David Grush, from this whistleblower, uh, and they want to dig in. In fact, we already know lawmakers are planning on holding some hearings, so they will be doing it exactly that, digging in, trying to learn a little bit more. There's also a healthy level of skepticism, I would say, which I imagine is, is normal, and, and maybe a lot of people have that reaction uh, as well. I heard from Lindsey Graham yesterday. The one guy that we really wanted to uh, track down, you know, quite honestly, over the last day or so, and, and we just were able to do it, is Senator Mark Kelly from Arizona. He was on my list as uh, people who I wanted to talk to about this because he's the only guy in the building who's been in space multiple times. He is an astronaut before becoming senator. And so we just caught up with him. Uh, I, I wouldn't say he was skeptical, but he uh, was hesitant to maybe buy in to, to these whistleblower claims. Here's a bit of our discussion that we just had moments ago. Obviously, whistleblowers have protection. Um, it'll be, you know, interesting. And I am, you know, in favor of science and data and getting the facts. Yeah. Can I just ask you, do you think that this is something worth uh, Congress pursuing? And the House side, Chairman Comer, the Oversight Committee said they're going to be holding hearings. Well, on we, we, we are briefed often in the skiff on... You know, UAPs and the and the investigation. We had one just uh, just a month ago. Do you, do you doubt that military intelligence is is being, I guess, forthcoming with Congress, or you know, would they have reasons? I haven't seen any reasons to believe that they're not forthcoming. I have no reason to believe that military intelligence is not forthcoming, was the point that he made at the end, which is really the heart of the allegation that this whistleblower is making, Marnie, is that not only does the United States government, according to him, have you know pieces of uh, spacecraft, but also that uh, they have been uh, hiding that from, from the public. So uh, Senator Kelly there saying that they get regular briefings, and uh, clearly I think he wants to learn more, just like many of, of the rest of us here. So it's going to be interesting because we know how the House side uh, is going to be handling these these claims. Uh, interested to see what the Senate is going to be doing, if anything, actionable to investigate these claims as well. And we've seen in the past, Joe, hearings on this uh, topic, and it draws a lot of interest. What might a hearing on UFOs and Grush's most recent complaints or claims actually look like? Yeah, it's a really good question. So uh, on the House side, I talked to the two lawmakers that are going to be leading that, that hearing eventually. Uh, they want to hear more from the military intelligence officers, although they also take what those people say with a bit of skepticism as, uh, skepticism as well. Uh, the thing that I'm hearing more is they want more videos to be declassified. You know, we, we heard new revelations that we ran last night from David Grush saying that uh, while the Pentagon and the Department of Defense have released a handful of three or four videos showing, uh, you know, aircraft that has been unidentified. Uh, they say that there are a lot more videos that are, in their view, even more concerning than what the Department of Defense has already released. So uh, what I'm told is if you're going to have these hearings, lawmakers may want to see if they can have some more video declassified and dig in and uh, have an explanation as to what we are seeing there. Um, I'm also told that they want to talk to Grush one-on-one -on -one and hear in person what he has to say. So all of that could be fair game for these committees moving forward. And I think the rest of it, they're still trying to figure out just in the beginning stages now of planning. But whatever they come up with, certainly going to be interesting. And I imagine will capture the attention of the nation, Marnie. All right, Joe, we're watching. Thank you. And a programming note, tune in Sunday to hear new exclusive revelations about the alleged secret government program. This is an hour-long special, We Are Not Alone. It debuts exclusively here on News Nation this Sunday at 9 Eastern. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.